What's up guys? Today we have the first place senior world championship deck, Yan Mega and Yan Mega Break. So this is not Yan Mega. Um so Yan Mega has a really cool ability, Sonic Vision. It says if you have exactly four cards in your hand, ignore all energy in the attack cost of each of these Pokemon's attacks. So this means you can have the attack uh, Assault Boom, which is 50 damage plus if your opponent has a tool card attached to it, it does 70 more damage. And um, if they don't have a tool card attached to it, you can use Yan Mega Break, which has more HP, which basically just does 100 damage and says this isn't affected by anything, which is also really good. Um, so you're doing big numbers on a, you're doing pretty big numbers for free for no energy. But maybe sometimes uh, they have more than 100 HP and they don't have an item or something like that. For those things, you use your Vespaquin line. You play 4-4 four, four Vespaquin. So you play beer, it has the attack Beer Revenge. I've gone over this many times. But it does 20 plus 10 damage for each Pokemon in the discard pile. Um, and then you have things like uh, Area Dose, just do 10 more damage per turn. But sometimes it's just um, this fodder you throw it away. So a lot of the times you can just throw it away turn 1. Uh, but sometimes the extra 10 damage is useful per turn. I actually asked the world champion what it was for, and that's, that's basically what he told me. Uh, so you play 3 Shaman just to accelerate your turn. Uh, and then you play 2 cards like 2 Battle Compressor. This, this might be a bit surprising how low it is, but um, the point of the deck isn't to be super aggressive and discard everything for Vespaquin. It's more to play the game of, of like Yan Mega and then as you're playing Yan Mega, you might need to use Vesquin or use it as a late game sweeper, and that's more what the purpose of it for is for. Uh, Yan Mega kind of carries and has amazing free retreat. It has pretty good weakness. Not many Pokemon are like electric, anyways. You play two level wall just to help search out your Pokemon. This gets to you. Uh, Spinarak, Ariados, Kombi, Vesquin, and Yanma. So level wall is overall really good in this deck. One Revitalizer just grabs everything back from this deck, everything you need. One Special Charge, even though you don't use uh, energy attacks for Yan Mega, you might need energy back for your deck so you can attack with Vesquin. Four Ultra Ball, this just helps uh, f fuel uh, Vesquin's Beer Revenge as well as get whatever Pokemon you want. Use Shaman for early setup, it's an amazing card, Ultra Ball. Four Vegas Sticker just to get everything back. All your supporters you might need. One AZ. This is this is to um if you're a shaman stuck in the active or with a head ringer or something like that, or if uh something has a lot of damage on it that you don't need. It's really interesting that I played AZ when the deck has mostly free retreaters. So yeah, it's a pretty interesting card. It just probably it gets you out of a lot of like interesting situations that you don't want to be in, and it's also a healing card in a sense. One ju two judge. Judge is really good because you need exactly four cards in your hand to play on Mega. And this gives you four, exactly four cards. So as long as you don't play anything else, you're, it's really good. He, he found a really good way to make the four card limit not such, such a hindrance. One Lysander, just switch your bonus, um, bench Pokemon to his active Pokemon. Super amazing card. Uh, I'm pretty surprised he didn't find the room to put two, but I don't think you need to, and he, he has to make some cuts to put other things in there that are important. Two and this is a lot of the way that he beat the Nine March matchup, just ending them and hoping that he didn't get a DC. This deck probably has a pretty good Nine March matchup. It's pretty fast. It does a lot of damage. It attacks for free. It doesn't really play down Shamans unless it needs to, and if it does play down Shamans, you can use um, AZ. But uh, N just helped out a lot, and also is a good form of shuffle draw, which is needed. Uh, along with the judge, the deck plays very little supporters, just eight draw supporters. Four Professor Sycamore, very basic. You just discard your hand and draw seven. This just really ex helps accelerate your turn, go through your deck, and with Vespaquin, uh, with Vespaquin's rear revenge, you don't really worry. About if you discard too many Pokemon, you can just throw everything away. 
and as you can see that they're really thick lines anyways like four 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 three and you can recover everything with you know, with one revitalizer and a special charge so if you discard TCE or Pokemon you're not really worried about that if you discard um, some porters you have VS seekers so this deck has recovery for anything you might need and then this is the last card four burst balloons it's a pretty interesting card the purpose of this card is really just put on a lot of pressure and so you're saying I'm gonna knock you out and I'm gonna leave this target on my head it says if you hit me you're gonna do a lot you're gonna take damage too or you can hit them for like 120 or something and then have they have like 60 HP left and if they hit you they die so they have to retreat into something else and attack with that and so they have a lot of Pokemon po a damage Pokemon on their bench so it just applies pressure against Night March and knocks them out it's really good against a Night March matchup like I said it just knocks them out unless they have like a fighting fairy belt along like a Punkaboo or something like that but it puts a lot of pressure on and what they can do is not attack but then you just got a free turn of them not attacking in exchange for what some silly item card so it just it applies a lot of pressure they can they can megaphone they can zero six they can last and around it there's a lot of things they can do it's not foolproof but it's still really good and it's only an item card so it's an amazing card really then you need to play 4 DCE, you don't really need any more because of Sonic Vision. So the deck is really like, I would say simple in a sense, because there's so many 4 ofs and thick lines. But it's also very elegantly made, and made a lot of good and right decisions that really needed to be made. So I think the deck is very strong, and he definitely made a good meta call going into Worlds. He did avoid a few bad matchups like Trevenant, except for in top 4 where he got pretty god hands. But it's alright, uh, so I'll be back in a few seconds to just show you guys a game of this deck. We're going to hop into a game against Polka Beard. Oh, I'm not sure what type of deck he's playing, but he's a cool Lucario coin. So Lucario is one of my favorite Pokemon, so that's pretty cool. So, he's going to go first. This deck doesn't mind going uh, second, because you can attack it's not going second. Uh, and I have a pretty alright hand. So if I if I can get some if I can get a battle compressor into judge and then uh maybe oh this is a really awful matchup. Okay, I'm gonna really pray that he that he doesn't hit Trevenant, because if he does I can't I almost can't win. But like I was saying, I need to get a force of giant plants in play and I can use a battle compressor to actually get judge into the discard pile. And they're not going to use it, so turn one, so that's really nice. He's going to shame for two. I'm really hoping he whiffs, because if he doesn't whiff, I can't do anything. Turn his mail. <laughs> oh, this is making me kind of queasy. Burst balloon. Okay, I'm fine with that. I'll take the 60. So he plays it. Float zone. And pass. Oh my god, thank god. So I actually think this is a misplay attaching the float zone onto the Pokemon. My reasoning is that you don't really need to, there's no reason to attach it. It's not really doing anything for you. So, I'm going to, first turn, I'm going to discard my Aerodo Slime because I, I know immediately that's, that that's not useful. And, I think I don't, I, I think I want to play N this turn. I'll get this card to judge for now, but I really do feel like I, I need to play an end this turn over a judge because I need to get all my stuff. Like uh, my Force of Giant Plants. Yeah, just mostly just my Force of Giant Plants. However, I discarded it off my Battle Master because I'm going to shame it for two, and if I hit Force of Giant Plants, then I, I can start using that. Like using. Uh, just evolving right away. However, if I don't, I'll just end, which is fine also. So, play it on Yanma. Yan oh, level ball for a combi sounds fine. Just getting some Pokemon on the field. It's really unfortunate that I missed Force of Giant Plants, but I can deal with it. I don't really want to end him on his crappy hand, but. 
unfortunately I have to. And I'm not going to play Judge because I, I do want the two card buffer of cards I can play. Hmm. Okay. So what I can actually do is play Yan Mega, and this way I have four cards in my hand. Like I know I can go further and go for like some other stuff, but like I can I have Sonic Boom online. I can knock him out with Assault Boom because he has a tool card, so it actually won against him. So I don't even want to play anything else, risk anything else. I'm just gonna use like my Assault Boom, knock him out. And him putting a tool on actually helped me. Even though I'm taking 60 damage, I don't really mind that. He can't knock me out this turn. Because he had Flow Stone, like I said, it wasn't good to play Flow Stone because they overcommitted. And then I can't do a Sky Return with a Muscle Band or something like that to knock me out. Now, going into next turn, I have, I'm in a really good spot. I can do a lot of stuff. Or, okay, I guess not. He'd he, uh, end me out of that. But if he doesn't get a Trevenant going. I'm I'm in a great spot. However, if he does get a Trevenant going, I'm in a terrible spot. So there's <laughs> a contrast, I guess. <laughs> and he gets an ascension. Okay. So this puts me in a tricky spot. However, I was fortunate enough to get Judge, so I can attack with that. So I get a Vesquin. I think I don't even mind throwing a DC onto here. Like, there's no problem with doing that. I'll judge. And he only has one Trevenant going. Which is really honestly bad for him. And I have another another Yan Mega. So I use a Salt Boom. So, like, next turn I can just draw, evolve into Yan Mega, and then attack without wanting to do anything else. It's hard to maintain this four card hand w with uh, under item locks, so I'm trying to do it no matter what. I mean, he he has really nothing on board. He has one, he has one Trevenant. Now he has a Trevenant break. Like, good job, buddy. Like, I'm proud of you. Like, I'm not sure what to say. But yeah, he has really nothing. And I guess he's gonna get another Shaman or a Phantom. Oh, he's gonna get another Shaman, I suppose. And he's digging for more stuff because he has nothing on the board right now. I was really fortunate that he got um. He missed item lock turn one, and he hasn't been getting very much. But even under this, I'm still in a bad spot. It's like it's really hard to beat this deck. I'm gonna hope he plays down an item card, but I highly, highly doubt it. And yeah, it's just a terrible spot. He's gonna get a Lysander. I'm not sure what he wants a Lysander. I have very little Pokemon here, so I can't really use Pure Revenge as an option at this point in the game. It looks like though he's not gonna knock out my Yan Mega. Oh, he's gonna Lysander or something. Shaman. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I mean I'm cool with that. Um. Yeah, I mean that's fine. Oh, uh, okay. Hmm. So I can be adventure seventy here, which is pretty abysmal. Um. I'll use a DC and I'll leave the Sky Return and Retreat. I think I'll Sky Return and I'll promote this. I don't mind sacking this, but I think this Yanma at this point and this uh, Vespergen are really important, so I'm going to keep them in play. He can knock out both. He can knock out the Yan Mega regardless of whether it is on the bench or not. So I'll just leave it there. He's gonna judge me. 
I mean, that's kind of like my card to play, so I don't really mind that. But I need to hit some stuff off of it. So, this item lock is really hard to deal with. Like, it, it's really, really hard. Because a lot of your deck relies on just being able to use those items that are really strong to accelerate your turn. And if you can't do that, I mean, it's, it's a pretty bad predicament. But unfortunately for me, he has nothing going here. Okay, he has 80, his 80 HP left. And I have 5 Pokemon. Oh my god, that's so brutal. I need 10 more Poke HP. 10 more Pokemon. Uh, 1 more Pokemon left. 1 more Pokemon in the Discord file. Sorry, I can't speak English today. Um. So I guess I'll just ask like, the DC here. I mean, am I sure? Yeah, I have 5 Pokemon. I need 6. Wow, okay. So I left DC here and I have to stick him more. I hate doing this, but I mean, I have to. I absolutely need to. Just to be able to get that knockout online is so pow so good for me. Like, this is the biggest threat on the board. I need to knock it out. And for me, it was so hard to knock out. It was so hard. So to be able to just get it, like, offline <laughs> is so good for me. And I can actually use Yon Mega as an attacker now. If I if I grab another DC, it looks like I have uh, two left in my deck. And I have a Lysander now, so I can actually get around uh, the what you might call it, the Trevenant, and use items, which is nice. Doesn't look like I have very many items to use, but oh, he's gonna promote Wall Fit. Interesting. I'm not sure if I can narrow my hand size down to four. Um. Let's see what I can do. Okay, so if I. Lie Center. Uh, it's, I have currently seven cards. So if I have Lie Center, it's six. Bruce Balloon. One Pokemon is five. I actually want a Shaman. Hmm. So I'm in kind of a predicament, right? Uh, uh this is hard. Okay. I think a Lysander is Shaman. Because that way I can get grab two prizes and then accelerate myself into this game. And there's a lot of things I can hit. Such a burst balloon here. Burst balloon here. I'm not gonna have items later so I don't even care. Shaman for three. Let's freaking go. Hopefully I can grab something. And I got a battle compressor. There we go. Just go to Shaman. Uh, Vespa Queen, I guess. Um, and Combi. Maybe another Kobe. Maybe another Shaman. Yeah, I'll do that. And so now I have another Pokemon. To, I think, to, I believe, take two prizes. As much as I'd like to use a Revitalizer, I can't knock it out. Two prizes in. And we're two prizes away from beating our auto loss. I think that's pretty freaking incredible. And if he wants to attack me, he'd take 60 damage to the bank. So that's really good for me. And I can actually attack with Yon Mega using energy instead of uh, its traditional form of attacking. So he's going to have VS Seeker. I'm not sure what he's going to get. Probably a Judge or an N. He's going to get an N. Wow, this puts me in a really tricky position. He's going to grab like a Trout and Break. Dang. <laughs> this is really bad for me. And because damage counters gets around. Uh, this uh, bursting balloon. So he's gonna end me to two, and I need to get very fortunate here to be able to get anything. Okay, I get a sycamore. That's not bad. He's gonna silent fear. 
and then it doesn't trigger the bursting balloon, unfortunately. So to promote this, I have 24 cards left in my deck. And I'll suck more. I need to get something going, so. Like, I always just need to get something going. Hmm. How many Pokemon do I have in my Discord pile? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Wait. 6 cards. 8 cards. 10, 12. So it looks as if I'm 20 short from Vest of Quinn. Oh, I don't have Force of Giant Plants in play anyways. Okay. So I'll throw this down. Um, I could do this and then just like barrier break. Yeah, I mean I can do that. That's fine. Yeah, I'll just barrier break for a hundred. Not ideal, but I mean what can you do? Maybe I shouldn't have attached that to the Omega, but I don't know. If you if you silent fears here, he's not that's not 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 very good for him. Uh however I'm in a pretty good spot I can attack attack with my uh Vesiquin. So this is making like a bad spot for him from from a bad spot for me, not that bad. He needs to get another N off, definitely. He definitely needs to get another N. Because uh, if he doesn't, I'm gonna go off so I'm gonna go off like ham. I'm gonna go ham. Because I can just evolve into things, I can do a lot of stuff. Attack on my best Quinn. And that's kind of the dynamic of this deck has. It's really interesting. Is that like when you can't attack with the end mega, you have Vespaquin as a backup. He's gonna tree slam. He's that desperate. But what that means is that he can't knock this out. So if I can fire off a VS Seeker for a Lysander, I win the game. I'm gonna promote this, and then I can evolve. I can evolve both of them, anyways. So if I somehow get like a VS Seeker for a Lysander, I win. I'm not gonna play this. No, I don't want to play this. Okay. So, grab Vespaquin. And I could Sycamore here. But I think another play I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna AZ Shaman. And I might be able to attack for free. Uh, but I also don't need that many cards in hand. And I don't really mind. Like I, don't, I don't need the Sycamore right now. So I'll just AC Shaman. Heal it. So AC has a lot of weird uses. Like it's it's pretty good. Really interesting. And like I said I don't mind this. Like it's not bad. So I have a few lines gone. Um, Yeah I'm not going to bench that Yama. And I still have enough cards that I can Sycamore. So I'm gonna VS I'm gonna retreat not VS secret. I'm gonna retreat into my Vesquin and beer wrench. And this is how you can possibly beat your auto loss, right? You have to you're relying on them missing a few times and missing a few things. But you can still do it. It's really hard, but you can still do it. Now if you gets like if you can use a tree slam this turn. No, okay, wow. He misses everything. And I win the game. Wow. This is a really, really bad matchup. Like, this is the deck that you're praying not to play against. But, I mean, you can overcome almost any matchup in Pokemon training and card game. But, you ha you're relying on a few things that he has to miss. Like, turn one item lock, things like that. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.